congrats on Sweetheart. Thank Such you. a wonderful film. Uh, now you've had all this recognition, uh, how, how, are you still pinching yourself that the film has had such a great reaction so far? Oh, always pitching myself. <laughs> um, the film's been incredibly well received. Uh, you know, just five nominations. We're so grateful, we're so excited. We had no expectations when we got our 50 pence to make it and uh, <laughs> we, we all put our heart and soul into it. And um, we've got an incredible team, you know, and support from you know all the team and uh, yeah we didn't expect this and you know Dinard everything it's been really nice the public have really embraced it and I think it's a really important story that um, that I'm really excited to be part of and grateful yeah I mean there's so much content out of particularly in cinemas these days with the big budget movies and all the movies from last year still haven't come out how important is something like Bifford to give your film and all these films a bit of oxygen just to help them to be seen especially in the cinema it is incredibly important Bifford's honoured some of my most favourite movies and you know directors writers and and you know sort of actors I there is a lot of content you mentioned that just then and it's overload I think sometimes there's a lot of money goes into TV and some of the shows are incredible and I'm part of some of those and I'm really you know that's exciting but British independent film is where I began with Dead Man's Shoes This Is England I was here 15 years ago with Shane and we won and you know, to come back 15 years later and to be nominated with a film with a micro budget, um, you know, and some of these, I've seen a lot of the films, you know, I've watched them, incredible. Uh, I, I think we'd, we'd benefit from pumping more money into British independent film, more mentorship, you know, and um, a lot more representation. And I think that's happening and I'm really proud to be here tonight and be part of that, so. And just finally, Ricky, I think this week has teased. It's lots of teases for season three of Afterlife. Might be there soon. Uh, how, how has he impressed you? Because this is the first time he's done a season three. So it's uncharted waters in some respects for him and for, for you guys to be part of that. Has he, do you think he's knocked, knocked it out of the park again this time? Do you, do, do, you, do you think he likes us? Do you think that's why he's done three? <laughs> I, think, I think the story's endless. I think you could go on and do more, but he probably wants to do new stuff. He's a very creative human being and likes to kind of change it up. Um, it was just a beautiful family and he had more story. And I think, yeah, the, the essence of that show, grief and, you know, togetherness and connection and overcoming that, we all have to do that. And, you know, I think being part of it has been a huge part of my own career and a turning point. I've ex experienced a lot of joy, actually, working with that team of people because they're like family and they're all really authentic. They're down to earth. Ricky's very down to earth. And you, you sort of get what you see is exceptionally smart. And um, he's very generous. Like, you'll get us into improv and do things and then you'll get the scripts and it's in there. And it's like, oh, he's, he's, he's heard me. And, um, yeah, what a wonderful person. What, an, what a great show. You know, it's, it's a very down-to-earth show, but it touches many people because it's about death and grief and recovery. And uh, we all want to be connected, don't we? We can be disconnected with all this technology and everything. It's great. We need it. But, like, that's what Sweetheart's about. And what I loved about the topic of Sweetheart is it's quite deep and sensitive, but it's done in a very light-hearted way. And I think it's what Ricky manages to do with, with Afterlife at times. And also Shane did it with This Is England. And, the comedy and the tragedy of life, you know, so, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!